Hello friends, what can working women do so that they won't get frustrated and they can do proper job and at the same time have nice relationships at home and maintain household works. It is better if women's hobby becomes her job because then that job will be a time when she can take rest because when woman does something which she is interested in and which she has desire in doing those things then she will take rest because a real job for a woman is home where she has to deal with relationships where she has to deal with mother-in-law father-in-law take care of them and when she is at home it's really a job she cannot sit peacefully as like kids do and as like father does husband does because a woman is very sensitive and when she is at home the house becomes her bigger body like every a corner of the house it is her body if something happens to that place sh her heart will start paining or so she feels she is very sensitive and a house is a place where a woman really works there is workplace it's better if it is a place where she can take rest a little bit rest from household things but i understand these days you many people don't have that kind of opportunity of selecting the things which they are passionate about to do for other people or to do it for god so if you don't have that choice and if you have to, if you have to work in order to earn money, to maintain the family, to maintain the kids, then these tips will be for that kind of woman who don't have choices. And work environment is a place which is very strict. It is very raw. It's very hard. There is no loving exchanges. There, there are no family relatives where you can be a little bit naughty and if you don't want to do something you can tell oh I don't want to do my head is paining and these kind of things nobody will accept in your workplace if you have stomach pain if you have some other pains or if you want to just sleep you're feeling sleepy nobody cares in the workplace nobody cares because it's an environment where you have to be responsible where you have to do because everyone is else in doing and you're getting paid for it so you have to do and for women it is little tough because women's mood is changing all the time every 28 days they have different 28 moods or sometimes every minute they have different moods that's why in the beginning they may like the, the job they started and then after some time Oh, it's okay this job is okay and after some time oh my god I'm getting tired in this job and the four stages I hate this job I just want to change it because mind is chanchala mind is changing so they want uh, women are like kids they want to jump to from one thing into another to uh, from one thing into another that's why they have to be protected when they're small by their fathers when they're young by their husbands and when they are grown up in age, um, when they are aged then by elder sons, because women are like kids, they their mind is always chanchala, and they need someone to uh, who can make decisions for them. Because of her so much changing things in her mind, it's very difficult for her to achieve a bigger goals also because. She is putting one goal and trying to achieve that and she feels fed up of that goal and jumps into another, jumps into another, jumps in. So for that she needs the help of a man uh, or her, her husband, father. So he will always guide. No, stick to this, you will be happy. Stick to this, you can achieve many things. So that's why they need a little bit help. So, the same way in the job, it is very difficult for them in the job, place, if they like the job, it's a resting place where they can take rest from house, from bad relationships at home, but if they don't like the job, then the solutions are, first tip is that try to create a homely environment in your, in your job, for example, if there are female people, try to make with them friendship 
try to find, to make with them friendship and have time to talk with them, not only discussing about work-related things, but something else, friendly relationships. Or you can have lunch together and exchange with advice, help each other in you know, work-related things or in family things. And maybe you can, in the future, you can meet them at their home or invite them to your home. So that kind of friendly relationships uh, should be there in the job so that woman feels a little bit relaxed and a little bit away from her uh, uh, strict job environment. Another thing is cultivate a motherly relationship with men who work there. Maybe sometimes you can offer them food, cook food at home and bring them offer. Wearing beautiful modest dress will also make you feel, give you the sense of that you are a woman and if you wear proper, decorate yourself properly as like a woman, you won't act like a man. If you observe when you wear something like pants and tight pants, your mentality changes. It is not must, but if you want to feel a little bit happiness, you can try to wear dresses, beautiful dresses, put some flowers, decorate yourself with cosmetics and look modest and beautiful. That that way everyone around will respect you as a woman and you feel yourself as a woman and relaxed, not so much get stressed out from the strict from the strict environment. Another thing you can do is change the environment, at least the place where you're working, your cabin or office, the room, the place where you're working or your table, decorate it as if it's your home, like put flowers, put some fruits when you're hungry, eat it for eating it or put the, the photos of deities where you can remember the Lord or you can put the photos of your relatives so that they will remind you and you will a little bit get away from job place and take uh, that mood of homely relationships and again go to your job. And if there is a gym, another tip is that if there is a gym club, if your job place is a nice modern job place, Mostly they provide a gym club, so in order to keep yourself healthy, you can at least half an hour, you can join that gym and in order to keep your health, because you don't have time at home to do yoga and do other sport activities. So you can use office, like before lunch, maybe half an hour, you can go to the gym, so you can do that. Another thing is, if you feel tired and sleepy, Maybe after lunch time, uh, you can take a nap, half an hour or 20 minutes, right? Putting your head in the table, you can take a little nap. Because if you don't sleep enough, and I'm sure if a woman are working, and plus they have kids, and plus they have to do housework, it's very difficult for them to take enough sleep. That's why 20 minutes of sleep will be equal to like 2 hours, because you will get so much rest during that 15 or 20 minutes that your psych, uh, mental body will be satisfied your physical body everything will be satisfied so uh, try to do that don't overload yourself another thing is for working women I'm not working I'm at home and I know how much work is there at home and we stay in a very small place and I cannot imagine if there is if there are people who are staying in two bedroom, three bedroom apartment. It means they have to work daily, clean the house, cook for three kids, uh, husband, and clean the house and wash the clothes for all these people and cook for them. Yeah, so much work, so much work. And after cooking, you have to clean, wash the plates. It's hard work. And what will happen if women works, such like women works? It is unimaginable. So for that reason, if you are in India or in other countries where servant prices, servant services are cheaper, you can pay for the servant in order to save your health, in order to save your energy levels. You can pay for the servant. Let she wash the plates. Let she 
do all menial work let you wash the clothes clean the house and maybe you can request your husband to take the kids to school or kindergarten so try to allocate the services to different different people so that your energy won't get so much used up take care of that because cooking at home and going to job it's all it's already a big thing so you have to keep that in mind and their servants servant service is not cheap uh, in those countries like europe or us it is very costly for that places women can buy some washing machine washing machine and use the help of robotic servants like there are some robotic uh, vacuum cleaners and dishwashers, machine wa uh, cloth washers. So you can search out for this kind of robotic things so that your energy won't get used up. You have to have time for taking rest also, recharge yourself. And maybe also if it is possible, you can buy some cut vegetables. They may not be frozen vegetables but they are cut vegetables of course you will spend a little more money but uh, it is worth for it because you are saving your energy and you are saving your health maybe once in a month uh, you can try to go to the nature with your family or go to the spa or go to the massage center just to get some energy to you inside you because all the time you are using up your energy i stay home even that even if it is like that once in a week i don't cook i maybe cook one kitchri or some papad fry some papad but there is a day when i take rest from cooking i stay with my husband we don't have kids so still i need some rest once in a week because uh, sometimes we get so much tired so that you have to take care meditation or chanting uh, holy names or other spiritual practices uh, if you are in other religions it is must and it is very helpful uh, so even if you don't have time for this kind of spiritual things you just spend two minutes a day in order to get fulfilled because in this world nothing can satisfy us even if our hundreds of desires get fulfilled material desires still we won't be satisfied understanding that you can try to do some spiritual practices which will fulfill your heart and it is better to do that in the morning so that throughout the day you are not dependent on good or bad things which happen to you throughout the day and you know, if your mood changes and if you get affected by bad things, bad things in the world, then you will be again tired. That's why it's better you practice spirituality so that you are not attached to dualities of this world. And sleeping again before 10 and 10 o'clock is the it should be the last time when you have to go to bed. Sometimes it is difficult, sometimes you may have to stay awake up to 12, but try to come to the norm that you have to sleep by 10 o'clock because it's a time when mind starts getting rest. Other times it's very difficult to get that kind of rest which you could get at 10 o'clock. And if possible, you can try to work part-time, but I understand for some people it's not enough. So you you can use other things but if possible try to work part-time and if you don't have time for reading spiritual books and books which inspire you or uh, book self-help books if you don't have time try to use the uh, traveling time when you are traveling to your workplace listen listen audiobooks or listen lectures or if you can read books read books if you're sitting in the bus or if somebody is driving and you are in the car sit and read the book if you cannot carry the book read online kindle on your phone it is so easy these days to read books so don't waste your time just looking or just thinking about the things which happened and bad things and these things don't waste time but use that distance one hour you're traveling that's very nice read it 
And if, it, if you are in a city like Mumbai, where you have to enter to the crowded train, try to listen. Don't get affected by people are crushing and they are crushing you and it's so hot inside. Just immerse yourself in reading, listening. Don't waste time. And try not to work extra hours because sometimes managers, if they find you very honest and very submissive, they will try to make you work hard and make you work more hours and they will promise they will give you more money. But try to find the limit. Tell them that you are busy at home, you, your kids are waiting, your husband is waiting, that you cannot. So it is your right to say and it is your right to not to agree to his orders if you explain properly because it is true you need some rest also it's not like that you have to work day and night if you do that your health will get spoiled and if your health is spoiled you cannot take care of your kids nobody can cook your husband is fighting so everything has some kind of chain reaction so take care balance balance your work and balance your household things i hope these tips will be helpful for you if you try these things and if you had some good experiences from those please share with us in the comment and if you have some more tips which help you to become uh, relaxed in your job and what things you like to do and you do in order to uh, save your energy please share those things so that we all of us learn from you thank you so much